So right now I'm going to be making a piece that I'm going to sew on to the front of a pocket. And I'm going to use a stencil blocker and then I'm also going to use a rub-on transfer. So I will show you what I have for the rub-on transfers and then how to use a stencil blocker. And so I don't want my pattern from my stencil. That's by Prima. It's a damask design. I don't want my stencil to cover the whole thing or you're not going to see the quote that I'm going to transfer onto it. So I cut this paper here and that is going to block the area where my quote's going to go. So that's the area I do not want my stencil to go. So you can use any shape. I'm going to have a butterfly here. Like say in a larger piece, I can put the butterfly down as a stencil blocker. And then you end up with the outline of a butterfly or whatever shape you want to use. Now when I lift the stencil blocker up, you can see it's just framed in. And I have a larger one here that I did for a larger quote. It's going to be a taller pocket. So now I'll show you the rub-on transfers that I have. They come in all sorts of themes. This one is a sewing one. Haven't used this one yet. Got that from Hobby Lobby. So if you just Google rub on transfers. So this one here is called Love Quotes, which was the same brand as this one here. I haven't opened this one yet. Dream Quotes. And they do send you a popsicle stick with them to transfer them on. Um, but I like to use the, the Tim Holtz tokens. They seem to work pretty good. Or you can use a coin. So I'm going to peel the little paper off the back. And you can feel the side the transfer is on. Just get it centered. And if there is an area that doesn't rub off, because that can happen, it's very easy to line right back up since you can see through it. And the letters on this are black, and it kind of turns to a just the clear color of the plastic so then you know it's released but I usually have some left over that didn't transfer and I gotta line it up again I'll turn it this way it looks like it's all released but we'll see and it's a little sticky when you first pull it just pull it slow So that one transferred pretty good, except for my very last word. Looks like I need to finish that part. They do look cute pinned down to, to a pocket or whatever. I'll actually finish that after. And then I have like a little one here 
that I did that I can just pin on to the side of a page that has lace on it. So I did cut up quite a few of the little fringed pieces to put on the back of my traveler's notebooks. I'm going to do a couple with the eyelets to pin to the side of the page. Obviously you don't have to have an eyelet to do that. You can just use the, the pins and they do look cute with the heavier pins as well. So I just thought I'd show you those Revon transfers in case you liked those. Thanks for watching.